Hi there. So uh, I'm demoing the Secret Santa tool, uh, which we built uh, for this occasion and because users asked to. Um, and right now I'm in our live mode, which means our viewer mode, which is pretty interactive. So right now, how does this work, right? So we have a list of people here, right? Like AOC, Elon Musk, Bill Gates, The Rock, and Oprah. And you will see that they are each assigned a person to give gifts to. Right, so Elon Musk gives to AOC and delegates to Elon Musk and Oprah to Bill Gates, etc. Now, the cool thing is that you can add new people. Let's say we add um, uh, Obama, right? So uh, when we add Obama, you will see that now the list is completely reshuffled. So Obama gives to AOC and Oprah to Obama and Elon Musk to Oprah, etc. Right? So you can add and remove people and the list will, will self-update. Now, how does it work? Um, under the hood. So um, this is just a list of people, right? And we have our last grid and I added 10, but you could just copy paste and add some more, right? And then here is where the secret sauce happens, right? Uh, as it explained in the, in the blog post, right? So the first step is to actually write a, 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 a function to get the people who are available to be distributed, right? Because the, the key part in this, in this spreadsheet is this column here where we have a random, randomized version of the original list there. Because if you have a randomized version, then you can just say, you know, uh, uh, the first one gives to the previous one, right? So Bill Gates gives to Elon Musk, which is what, what you see in here, and Oprah gives to Bill Gates, uh, right, etc. And then the first one gives to the last one. So you see, this is what what's in this column, right? So the key job is to actually generate a randomized list. And to do that, we start with, with finding the list of the people who haven't been assigned, right? So uh, um, what, what we have in here uh, in this formula is if row equals two, so if it's the first row in here, then the list is the full participant list. So get there the full participant list, create a, uh, uh, an object with that. Otherwise, get the previous list, so the list which is on the cell above, which is this one in here, and then filter out so that the names uh, uh, exclude the previous person to be assigned, which is actually on B1, right? So that generates that kind of list. Um, obviously, then, 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 then there, there's this extra gizmo here, which says that if the row is bigger than the number of people, just, just write uh, two, empty, two empty brackets, right? Which is what you see in here. So if you need more people, you also can copy this further down and it will work with more people. Now, once we have the list, right, and you will see that um, at the first step, everyone is there. Um, uh, so AOC, Elon Musk, Bill Gates, The Rock, and Oprah. And you will see that on the second step, uh, actually one person has disappeared. Who is it? Like, obviously, Elon Musk, which is the first person, right? And you will see that on the third one, uh, uh, Bill Gates also disappeared, right? And so this is uh, this step of the, uh, of, the, of, of the building of the spreadsheet, right? Um, then on the second column, which is where we actually find the random people, we just say, okay, okay uh, we start with this, uh, with this little cleanup. So if the previous cell is, is empty, so if, if it's not someone we want to award, then just write also empty, empty cell. Otherwise, go in there and parse or fetch um, um, the name of a person whose index is a random between zero and the length of that object, right? This is what this is doing, right? So this in here extracts the length, how many people are in there, which in the beginning is uh, uh, five people, so from two to six, right? Then it subtracts one because the, the, the index has to access data is zero to n, not to one to n, right? So it's zero to, f to, to, to four for five people. Uh, and then you do a random and it's, it, 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 it's just going to return a random person of the ones which are available. And the last step uh, is, is only fetching the person who that person gives to. So if the row is number two, so if you're in the first row, you have to actually get the last person, right? And in there, so we just get grab the people um, and then uh, parse it and get the, the last one, right? So give me the last person on that list, which is the index minus one, if you wanted the the, the last but one, you do minus two. Uh, uh, and then uh, you turn uh, this person, which is the name of the column. 
Otherwise, just give me the person who is on the previous column, right? Because this is a, a straight, a straight assignment. And this is how we build it, right? So I'm going to go back to live. And here we have the list. If we, if you want to use it yourself, you just click duplicate, right? And it's going to copy it into your own spreadsheet and then you will, we will be able to access it. I hope you liked it.